All right, guys, been a while since I clicked record, but I do have an exciting one because I found out about an extension called Vegas Pro Flow. So yesterday I was just minding my own business, making a new video, and I found out that someone in my server posted an image with Vegas Pro Flow. Now, I never knew about this extension until I searched it up myself. And as you can see, here is the website and it is actually real. So if you can't tell, it is very similar to After Effects Flow, and I guess it's just a clone, but what it does is basically basically makes your animations way smoother so instead of having to put fast or slow on keyframes you can essentially have whatever you want and yeah just have smooth animations but yeah, today i'm going to show how to download it and use it so first thing you want to do is go down the description go to this github.io link and over here this will tell you how to use it what it is and how to download it so you want to go down over here you'll see two buttons and if your version is 13 or earlier click this if your version is 14 or later which i have vegas pro 18 I'm gonna click this. So then you wanna save it and then you wanna open up the zip. So here are four files. Now, before you do anything, go down to your file explorer, go to documents, and over here, what you wanna do is make a new folder called Vegas Application Extensions. Make sure it's like that. Click enter, and some of you might already have this. So if you do, don't worry, just open it up. And over here, you wanna drag in the four files. So boom drag it in and there you go now if you already have vegas open make sure you close it and now you can open it up again now once you have reopened your vegas go to view extensions and you should have vegas pro flow so click on this one now for you it will pop up like oh okay so now for you it will pop up like this uh, what you want to head and do is hold control and lock it in somewhere so i'm gonna put it on the side because why not i'm gonna click close and there is our graph editor now i'm gonna show you how to use this because you know it's pretty confusing and has a lot of settings so right so let's say you want to make your pen and crop smoother what you want to do is first of all click on the video you want to make the graph in then go to your pen and crop and then you can make your keyframes so i'm gonna make three keyframes first one's gonna be normal seconds zoom in and then third one zoom out so at the moment this looks like that as you can see, pretty linear, and we can make that better. So now you want to pick which side you want to graph. So I want to make this side smoother. I'm going to make sure that I'm in this gap over here. Then you can mess with the graph editor. So here we have a few presets that you can just use, or you can make your own. So let's make our own. I'm going to do something like this, and I'm going to click apply. And as you can see, it has made a bunch of points and before we check this out let's do it for the other side go to this gap and we're gonna adjust this side so for this one let's use a preset let's use something like this so you want to double click and boom it has applied this so after you've done that you can see how it looks like and as you can see that's really nice but now let's say you don't like what you did so you can easily just go back by clicking Ctrl Z. And then if you don't want that other thing, Ctrl Z again. And there we have our three keyframes. So now let's say you want to make an effect smoother. I'm going to use Blur My Curves for this example. I'm going to apply it on the video like that. And we're going to keyframe Z distance or whatever. So animate and rotate. Why not? So right now it's very linear. Let's make it smoother. So I'm going to go on this gap over here. And also before you do anything, make sure that you have selected the video. Because if you don't, then you won't have this. But here, as you can see, this is the effect that we have. And then this is the effects inside. So you can pick what you want to adjust. But make sure you have keyframes enabled. So I have keyframes enabled for easy distance. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to make my graph. And I'm going to click apply. And as you can see has made the keyframes so for the next one same thing apply there we have the keyframes now if you want to switch it up uh, to the rotate one simply go into here and then pick rotate just like that apply and then over here switch it up apply and just like that we have made a smooth animation now what i really like about this is that you can save your own graph so let's say you like what you made you know i like this one it's really nice i'm gonna head on over to custom make sure that i've already set this graph i'm gonna click on add new and then you'll know, pick a name you can pick an image if you want but i'm gonna just use this graph image i'm gonna click save and then boom here it is but yeah that's the end of the video and huge shout out to my discord server boosters for keeping the server at level 3 if you want to join my server it's on screen or in the description you know i hope to see you there but anyways this was pixie i'm out